In this video, we're talking all about class diagrams, what they're used for, what they're composed of, and how to get started making them. In software engineering, a class diagram in the Unified Modeling Language, or UML, models the static structure of a system. It shows relationships between classes, objects, attributes, and operations. The class diagram is used for modeling the system of an application and for translating the model into programming code. Let's look at some of the basic class diagram symbols and notations. Classes are a representation of entities with common characteristics. We illustrate classes with rectangles divided into compartments. Place the name of the class in the first partition, centered, bolded, and capitalized. List the attributes in the second partition, left aligned, not bolded, and lowercase and write operations into the third. Active classes initiate and control the flow of activity, while passive classes store data and serve other classes. Illustrate active classes with a thicker border. Use visibility markers to signify who can access the information contained within a class. Private visibility, denoted with a minus sign, hides information from anything outside the class partition. Public visibility, denoted with a plus sign, allows all other classes to view the marked information. Protected visibility, denoted with a number or hash sign, allows child classes to access information they inherited from a parent class. Associations represent static relationships between classes. Place association names above, on, or below the association line. Use a filled arrow to indicate the direction of the relationship. Place roles near the end of an association. Roles represent the way the two classes see each other. Place multiplicity notations near the ends of an association. These symbols indicate the number of instances of one class linked to one instance of the other class. For example, one company will have one or more employees, but each employee works for just one company. A constraint represents some condition or restriction related to an element. Place constraints inside curly braces. Composition is a special type of aggregation that denotes a strong ownership between class A, the whole, and class B, its part. Illustrate composition with a filled diamond. Use a hollow diamond to represent a simple aggregation relationship in which the whole class plays a more important role than the part class, but the two classes are not dependent on each other. The diamond ends in both composition and aggregation relationships point toward the whole class. Generalization is another name for inheritance or an is-a relationship. It refers to a relationship between two classes where one class is a specialized version of another. For example, Honda is a type of car, so the class Honda would have a generalization relationship with the class car. In real-life coding examples, the difference between inheritance and aggregation can be confusing. If you have an aggregation relationship, the aggregate, or the whole, can access only the public functions of the part class. On the other hand, inheritance allows the inheriting class to access both the public and protected functions of the superclass. Class diagrams are pretty simple to construct when you're using an automated diagramming program like SmartDraw. All you need to do is connect shapes that represent classes in your system with lines. SmartDraw's class diagram library has all the appropriate class notations, which you can drag and drop and connect easily. From there, it's easy to type in the necessary input, move things around, and change the color and look of your diagram if you want to. It's probably a good idea to check out pre-existing class diagram examples to get an idea of how it's done. Now that you know the basics, you should be able to understand class diagrams and start building your own. Thanks for watching.